What's up guys, Valtrevity here. I am going to do a tutorial for REWASD. I just picked up this hide or die game, so that's what I'm going to make a bind for. And uh, hopefully we'll make this uh, fun and educational. Alright, so I play everything on a DS4 controller with extenders because like I don't know how anyone could use the default sticks they're like a fat joke so those are like the max you can get they're 120 TPS whoa cat cat's not gonna poke one cards off the table all right thanks cat just lost 20 cents on eBay man all right cat discount so uh, this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna start by unbinding everything you need to make sure when you do remap things that you make sure you unmap before you remap because otherwise you're just trying to fire both buttons at the same time and uh, that's a lose it's a lose you don't you don't want to do that um, just it never works now when you're using an Xbox controller I mean it's you can definitely map other Xbox controller buttons around or additional whatever have you if the game supports it but uh, a lot of games just don't support PlayStation controller so it leaves me to uh, use my final solution which is in my eyes the better solution because you know using all mouse and keyboard input I feel like I don't ever lose traction you know with that input lag that uh, some games have with controller functions it's like trying to play Dark Souls on computer like oh man the controller binds are Skyrim oh dear god um, but with the controller input it's, it's or the keyboard input I'm sorry it's not bad at all uh, okay just for the record like for other people that use PlayStation controller don't ever unbind this button I mean I'm sure like you know other people out there I've gotten away with it, but I've I've got my controller desynced before. I mean, just like into pure frustration, anger mode, where I broke one at some point, having to just hard reset it because, uh, honestly, I couldn't figure out what I kept doing other than you know rebinding that button, and then like you can't turn the controller on or off. If you do it in an overlay or something, you'd be all, probably be all right, but. You know, there's so many button options and combinations and stuff that you could do that, like, you know, my my suggestion is you strongly avoid changing the function of the PlayStation button. So, here we are. Looks, looks good. We're all unmapped. All right, so, I, I don't know what that game, the, I mean, that game offers controller support, but, like, I'm going to ignore that because I ignore that in everything. Uh, so, let's go over a couple little things factors real quick while that game is downloading it's almost done it's downloaded at 28 28 megs 29 megs it's not bad <laughs> all right so uh first thing i saw a lot of people asking recently in uh discord was about the uh movement system and the rebinding of the sticks so right now you got the sticks here uh they're both unmapped so this one's gonna be my mouse Click that. I'll get back into that. And then this is going to be my WASD. So, you know, like I said, make sure it's unmapped. I label a lot of my binds, which I'll explain. But um, right now it's not, obviously. So, you click uh, the advanced there. It's going to bring you to this menu. And uh, what this is, is the directionalization of the stick and what buttons you would be pressing as far as like the W and whatnot goes uh, they've got it set up really well in my opinion as far as like their default setup here I tweak it every once in a while for some games only because it seems like the game's movement is a little bit wompy not because their default binding is not good so I rarely touch that uh, this on the other hand very important this right here is your dead zone now this is what basically jurisdicts how much movement your controller stick effectively needs to make in order to like perform its 
out in inward movements, essentially, if you will. So if you dial this back too far, then you get like real bad stick drift. So you need to be careful. So like if you if you put this at some point in your character or your your aim or something is just whomping like listing lazily to the left or something like that, it means you turned your uh, dead zone down too much. Uh, usually, the older your controller gets, the more wompy your dead zone be. Oh, sorry, I just ate like way too much food. The more wompy your dead zone becomes. So just uh, be mindful of that. A newer controller uh, is gonna stand up better. I felt I found that PlayStation controllers as well like tend to get a little less stick drift in the long run. Alright, so that's that. I'll explain that in a second. Alright, so as far as this one goes, uh, I meant to explain the zones, I'll do that now. So the this, this zone system here is uh, basically how far out when you push your stick is basically like a lot of games have that. Uh, if you push a little bit factor, then you're kind of walking, but if you push all the way, it, it gives you that, that run or that extra push to get over cover or what have you that's that's what these two sliders are here so by dialing these back it takes less uh, stick push outwards to achieve that running motion or whatever it is you want and this setting here is based on your zone here so let's say you press shift to sprint in the game that you're playing and it is not a uh, stamina based game or something where you consume all your sprint and then you're like in oh shit mode where you're like Humpty Dumpty walking or something uh, so you know you could bind this to let's just say shift and when you push your stick all the way out into your high zone which would be you know your outer zone here it would <clears throat> it would fire your shift key and you you know it would potentially use your sprint if that's you know what that was so I do use that in some games, and it's extremely great in some games. Otherwise, you have to watch out because, like, you know, you could be mid-shot shooting somebody in a game or something, and you push your stick a little too far forward, and you start sprinting, and your gun goes down. Man, that's a real bummer sauce. So, you know, just be wary of that. Also, with this stick here, mind you that it's your mouse look, so be careful about how much you dial this back because it's going to resort on how much your stick goes out oriented towards how much mouse movement you're going to you know put out and um you know i'll try and give you guys a little demonstration but um <clears throat> you know depending on your controller and your tension if you got stick extenders you know so this uh sensitivity here my sensitivity i use on my mouse is it, i use like a max 16k dpi setting so like it's always kind of funky so i i never use global sensitivity i always find myself having to adjust it uh par game so we'll just see where that goes from there so right now we're set up on the uh wasd and the mouse look set up so i'm gonna cut to a second video and open up this game and uh try and get some more stuff bound up i have no idea what this game is like i uh had been waiting for it to come out for a little while to play it so We'll uh, take a first look here. I don't know. First look, R E W A C uh, tutorial here. So, stay tuned, guys. Hope this was a good start for you, and uh, I will see you back here soon, hopefully.